boys and girls. Thanks for coming again for Yoga with Miss Karen. This month, the month of May, we're talking all about transportation. And what is transportation? Transportation is a way that we get from one place to another place. And there's lots of different ways that we can do that. Some things we ride on land, the earth, and other things we ride on the water, and then other things we ride up in the sky in the air. So I used the song Bumpin' Up and Down by Raffi. You might know the tune. I changed the words a whole lot to talk about all the different ways that we can use transportation to get around. We're going to start with things that we ride on land. First thing is a little red wagon. To do a wagon, we're going to come into a table position. Your back is nice and flat and your hands are down. In this song, we bump up and down. It's called Bumpin' Up and Down in a Little Red Wagon. That's the name of the song. So sing it with me. Um, even if you don't know the words, I bet you can hum along. It goes like this. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you ride with me? Another thing that we ride on land is a train. I know a lot of you like trains. To do a train and to move like a train, we're going to do a downward facing dog to a plank. And this train is black. Bumping up and down in my little black train. Bumping up and down in my little black train. Bumping up and down in my little black train. Won't you ride with me? Another way we get around is by car or by van. A lot of you, that's probably the most common way for a lot of you to get around. We're going to come into what's called hero's pose. I'll turn sideways. So your bum is right on your feet. And we're going to bump up and down. Get your hands on your steering wheel. And here we go. Bumping up and down in my little yellow car. Bumping up and down in my little yellow car. Bumping up and down in my little yellow car. Won't you ride with me? Another thing that we ride on land, and I bet you have one, is a bicycle. So to do a bicycle, we're going to come on your backs. And hmm, why don't we have this bicycle be purple? On your backs, legs up, and then you're going to pedal your bicycle. Bumping up and down in your little purple bicycle. Bumping up and down in my little purple bicycle. Bumping up and down in my little purple bicycle. Won't you ride with me. Some of you may have a truck and there's some really big trucks on the road that transport a lot of important things. So to do a bicycle, we'll come into bridge pose and let's have the truck be about orange. All right, so press your feet down and your hips are going to rise. Bumping up and down in my little orange truck. Bumping up and down in my little orange truck. Bumping up and down in my little orange truck. Won't you ride with me? Good. Let's see. What other things ride on land? You might have one of these at home. A skateboard or a scooter. Does that take you from one place to the other? Yeah, then it's a form of transportation. So let's stand up and you have to balance on your scooter. So come on to one foot. And you're going to just move one foot back and forth like you're pedaling a scooter. Bumping up and down in my little red scooter. Bumping up and down in my little red scooter. Bumping up and down in my little red scooter. Won't you ride with me? And then lastly, our legs, our very own bodies can take us from point A to point B. So if it brings us from one place to another place, it's a form of transportation and our own bodies can do that. We can walk, we can run, maybe you can even ride a wheelchair. So transportation is also walking. So we'll 
I'll come sideways. We're just going to lift up our knees. Bumping up and down with my very own body. Bumping up and down with my very own body. Bumping up and down with my very own body. Take a walk with me. There's lots of other things that we can ride on land that are forms of transportation. Maybe you can think about some of those. We're going to move on to things that go in the water. So the water can be anything from a river to a lake to an ocean. And there's lots of different things that we can ride on the water. One of the things I thought about was a rowboat or a canoe, things that we have to paddle. All right. So they float on top of the water, rowboats and canoes and things like that. We're going to come with our feet down, our knees bent, and we're going to roll. Bumping up and down in my little blue rowboat. Bumping up and down in my little blue rowboat. Bumping up and down in my little blue rowboat. Won't you ride with me? Some of you may have ridden in what's called a powerboat. So instead of using our arms to move a boat, a powerboat has something called a motor at the back of it usually. And so those are called power boats. They go really fast. We're going to rock and roll to do a power boat. We've done this before, so you're going to rock back and forth. Uh, rocking back and forth in my little red power boat. Rocking back and forth in my little red power boat. Rocking back and forth in my little red power boat. Won't you ride with me? Some of you may also have taken a ride in a sailboat or at least have seen a sailboat. Sailboats have what are called sails. They're usually in the shape of a triangle and they are motored by wind. So the wind pushes against the sail and it makes the boat move. Usually the sails are in the shape of a triangle. So I thought we'd do a triangle pose. So I'm going to stand up. One foot is going to come wide, and you can see how my legs are in the shape of a triangle. So let's have this sailboat be, how about white? Bumping up and down in my little white sailboat. Bumping up and down in my little white sailboat. Bumping up and down in my little white sailboat. Won't you ride with me? And again, we can use our own bodies as a form of transportation in the water. We can swim. That's a form of transportation. Remember, don't ever go in the water without your mom or dad watching you. It's not safe. We're going to swim. You're going to come onto your bellies and put your arms out, legs back, and swim. Swimming through the water with my very own body, swimming through the water with my very own body, swimming through the water with my very own body. Won't you swim with me? Really nice, everyone. The last way we can get around is by air. So that means we're flying up in the sky. So, hmm, what flies in the sky? How about an airplane? There's a pose in yoga called airplane pose. Stand up. And what do we have our airplane be? How about green? One foot is down, one foot is lifting up. Arms can be out to the side. Flying through the air in my little green airplane. Flying through the air in my little green airplane. Flying through the air in my little green airplane. Come and ride with me. You might also see a helicopter in the air. Helicopters have propellers to move. And they go round and round. So when we come to goddess pose, so it's nice and wide with the feet. And then bend your knees and sit down. And you're going to move your arms side to side like propellers. 
Flying through the air in my little black helicopter. Flying through the air in my little black helicopter. Flying through the air in my little black helicopter. Won't you fly with me? Hmm, what else flies through the air? You may have taken a ride in one of these. Probably not. I never have. But there are something called a hot air balloon. So sometimes, especially in the summer, you can look up in the sky and see hot air balloons. They go up and they go down. So let's just do that. We're going to go up and down. Let's start down low. <coughs> Flying in the air like a beautiful air balloon. Flying through the air like a beautiful air balloon. Flying through the air like a beautiful air balloon. Won't you ride with me? Can people use their very own bodies to fly through the air? Hmm. Can we use our very own bodies to fly through the air? We can do that to walk and to run. We can do that to swim. But we can't fly through the air with our very own bodies. We don't have wings. Things that have wings are birds and all kinds of insects and bugs. But we, people, cannot fly through the air. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this rappy song. Today I'm learning all about the different types of transportation. Before we say goodbye, we'll take a final breath or two together, sitting in easy bows. Sit up nice and tall. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. One more time. Big breath in and a long breath out. Namaste. Have a great day, everyone. Back to sun.